is equipped with a timer, a temperature regulator that also regulates the quantity of steam produced by the device, an indicator that signals when the device is working, and here you have the button activating the ozone generator. On the lower part of the control panel, you have the lid with the integrated funnel to load the distilled water. This is important, distilled water only. Don't use keratin, don't use any other product, don't use regular water or tap water because it contains a lot of limestone and it can create problems in the device. So distilled water, that's the way to go. Here's the front part where you have a large hood that diffuses steam on the head of the client. Here in the front you have this regulator that you can open or close to increase or decrease the quantity of steam that will be staying inside of the hood. At the bottom you have the tank collecting residual water. Now there is a tiny lever here on the bottom that you can release to remove the tank. Here's the tank. This contains the heating element and all the water that you're pouring from the top, from the lid. With this movement, clockwise, you can release the tank and remove it. Now, be careful with that. I mean, it's designed in a way to resist to accidental falls, but it's better not to let it fall. And be careful in particular with the level of water that is indicated. The water always has to stay here in the middle. Okay, so carefully load the water every time that you finish a process, a treatment. Now let's see how it works. The first thing to do is of course to load water. So we're going to open the lid, put it aside, take the small funnel that is provided, this is just for safety, put it there, and then the brick. The brick contains approximately half a liter. Okay, so you have to pour one. Some more distilled water, that's important. Don't forget about it. and two. Take it out. Now, as you will see from here, the water is on the right level. Okay? So you always have to be sure that the water gets there. To activate the device, rotate the timer. This activates the machine and as you can see, the light here turns on. Then select the level of steam that you want for your treatment. We usually recommend to speed up the process to set the temperature level to the maximum because in this way the water is going to boil faster. Okay? Another important thing, never put the steamer on top of the client, on the head of the client, until the water starts boiling. In this way you're preventing drippings and so on and that unpleasant feeling of, you know, some water drops falling on her head. Water start to boil, so you can see that the steam is starting to come out and you can see it also from the dome. Now it's the time to set the exact temperature and the exact time for working on the head of the client for the process that you want to do. Refer to the manual for that or even better, contact your supplier of hair cosmetics because every product has a slightly different setting so you'd better find out which one works better for you. At that point, let's say that we want to work for 15 minutes at a level 5 and that we want ozone. Okay, we regulate everything, we turn on the ozone lamp, you can see that the light turns on and we are ready to put the device close to the chair on the head of the client. If the quantity of steam that you have inside is too much, you can simply open the front flap as indicated before in order to allow steam to pour out. So the process is complete and what shall we do now? First thing, inspect the residual tank. Check if it is full 
there is still space and by any means empty it every time it's not costing you that much time the second thing this is even more important fill in the tank open the lid take the funnel take your distilled water fill the tank and make sure that the water level gets to the maximum as instructed before once you have done that turn on the device again at that point when you will start seeing steam coming out of the dome and of the diffuser you know that you're ready to go with another process one thing though if you don't make sure that there is enough water you might find a situation where water is boiling but no steam is coming out this is why it is carefully indicated to which level you have to put water take care of that it's a small detail but it makes a huge difference in the performance of the device Apart from that, I don't have nothing to say, enjoy the device, 